Do you want to do it out here? You can do it up here. Okay. We can do it on the porch. All right, good. Thank you. This is William Bragg, KCTV News. I am here in Kensington with Mr. Jonathan Armstrong of Harrison Physical Therapy. Mr. Armstrong is, is a certified physical therapist working with sports and workplace injuries to help find a common ground for patient recovery and the restoration of a quality of life. Good afternoon, Jonathan. Good afternoon. Yeah, I wrote all this stuff down. I have interviewed Jonathan before back in 2011 or 2012 after the FMS PLCA had been born of the Kensington Chamber of Commerce as a legal political agent for the Kensington Christian Republic Conservancy Initiative and the people of Kensington. As I recall, our first interview, it was along the lines, see, I was originally a patient of Jonathan's, and he helped me out with my back injury and really got me going. And as I was coming through the Art Institute, I was thinking, with all the stuff that's going on in Kensington and the abuse, yes, I'd seen it back then, the abuse of the chemical chemicalization, everything was in, like, every cure was in a pill, every cure was in turn off the pain, and you ain't got, then you're healed. But I knew better than that from instinct, from being a father, from being a human being. And Jonathan was my gift to gave me someone in the neighborhood who shared that type of a vision. Jonathan came from Venango. He grew up in Kensington too. But he saw a holistic way of life, a way to tune and align the body that would complement the spirit and the person. Uh, so I'm going to do a little bit of un uh, unorthodox interview with Jonathan here today. I want to present him with a prose. As he's already on board, like Esperanza and stuff like that, this gentleman here will be a phenom in this entire area, a salvation, an oasis for us to go to, to work our way out in Kenston Safe House, needle free, working with Last Stop and all these other places in the community, under the freeholders, this is who the freeholders recommends. People of this ilk and this quality and this stature of life, this care, Hippocratic Oath, they breathe it. First and foremost, do no harm. They understand their oath and they take it very, it's their heart, it's their soul, it's their person, it's their spirit. But I want to ask Jonathan today concerning this mask on, mask off, now they're testing and the next one down the pike is a pneumonia. They did this with respirators and everything when kind of like getting us out of uh, right field or left field, whatever. Uh, and all of a sudden it's like a staging, a termination in my opinion. And I want to ask Mr. Armstrong, who's in tune with these things, his hypothesis on a probable, which is better to just face it head on and you know, this might be just a common cold or a strain of influenza that they created for this purpose. Uh, Monsanto, the chemical place, now turned food, now underneath bear. Yes, we gotta find out what happened between the 1990s and present day with turning our people into automated beings to react by signal and response as probed and prodded by fear against our faith, against what our government's supposed to do in representing us, but the long journey back to show it's not impossible, nothing's impossible with God, nothing's impossible when we stand as one body. People like this can walk us back, psychological and physical, as a complement. Back in the 90s, they all saw sort of vibration therapy coming in from uh, San Francisco, where they straightened out a man's tailbone and cured him of leukemia. What is in medical that is in natural, that the AMA and the conglomerate medical establishment, medical industrial industry, to exploit, get away from blue collar jobs and make the industry working on people, manipulating people, hurting, hurting, yes, hurting, cropping. But anyhow, I've done enough for my talking. I want Jonathan to take it off the cuff. He knows what I'm talking about, and I know he already has his own perspective on these things. So without further ado, this is Jonathan Armstrong, of Harrison Associates here on Allegheny Avenue, 2024 Allegheny Avenue. Hello. Good afternoon, Jonathan. Good afternoon. You've been hearing all the reports back and forth between Valtry this and the Pennsylvania Health Inspector that and the, the governor this. And where do we stand, do you think? I think there is a body of science that says there are certain things that we need to do, but sometimes politicians are making decisions based on economics. And I think it's a difficult time for everybody because you don't know who to trust. 
I like what you inject there with economics. In other words, you're getting into, this is all ties into the psychological aspect of it and the money aspect, changing our education in the 20s. The greater good over sworn oath. The, the progressive sworn to uphold and defend and get in office, and let's see what I can change today. From a university point of view, call up their teacher and say, well, I'm in now. Okay, here's the alma mater. This is what I want to get you paid. That has nothing to do with what I represent. The Libertarian, the Republican, the Democrat, the Independent, the Green Party, they all represent one constituent in this nation, a nation of laws, one constituent, the Republican, one constituent. They don't care what we to defend and uphold that constituent's right, one, as one. How do you think we can go forward from here in building trust, in regaining our trust in the industry, besides holistic people like yourself? I think everybody's got to study independently and come to their own conclusions to find out who the people are telling the truth. And then they have to make the best decisions that they can make for their, for their health and their community. On a greater scale, do you, don't you see this as a blessing, as reverting us back to self-governance and our own personal values, where we put our, our core belief and we extend outwards from there as we develop? No, I, I don't see it as a blessing when there's so much loss of life. One loss of life, one person, it's not a blessing. I agree with that, that particular comment. One loss of life is not a blessing. Therefore, none shall be lost out of his hand. With God, with eternity, with eternal, with not worshiping every day death, but living life and life in abundance, we don't lose one. We come through, we glean out, we come to full consciousness, and we take account for that. We put the stake down, we move the flag forward as a people, and we homestead the land. So we don't lose one person. With God, you don't lose any. But uh, from that perspective, seeing as greater good, you can see the channeling in there or the persuasive argument that's been laid to our education system. Do you think there's any way to recover if, if persons such as in tune with the science is yourself and the spirit and the flow can actually get a greater position of authority in uh, helping the, well, running a community. Our community, we can come to you, we know you. Don't you see the greater principle there in being run from the inside out, not the outside in? We're in the middle of a pandemic, and I think we should be thinking about what we need to do to stay healthy and get through the pandemic. After the pandemic is over, I think we should think about what's the best way to rebuild. Wonderful, wonderful, very astute. I like the position you come from. Uh, you've always been very honest and very candid, and yet at point in time, respectful and reverent to self and to audience. Uh, that's why I said the, the integrity of your character in holistic shines through and through. So you are definitely a blessing, and the conversation with you is a blessing. Now for our people in the community, uh, to be able to get back to a point where we can start from, my personal opinion is we got to lose the mask like we always did. This could be nothing more than a common cold. If they report it on a common cold with this intensity every year, we'd be freaking out if somebody got sniffles. Yes or no? We don't know what the new normal is. And so we need to act like this is the new normal and try to learn from it and grow from it and survive it. Yes, exactly. Rather than Calman, I like that comment because of what I've been hearing and hearing and hearing. As the new normal, as the new normal, as we are herded, as we are goaded, as we are pushed along our way. Uh, have faith in this man, have faith in that man. Oh no, they were lying. Oh no, you know what? Even the guy I'll say right on the side, a politician. Oh, that was just a lie. Ha ha ha, that was just a lie. And he's still in office. But the new normal, no, 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 no. Normal is normal. God does not change. Our nation of laws does not change. We do not mandate this thing, even, even in the same M.O. of using a imposed, implied prejudice. Hate for hate's sake. That's all it was taught was hate for hate's sake. And fear and, oh, oh yeah, apologetic. 
hate and apology, hate and apology, on to the people who had nothing to do with either, to goad the society. That is to covet 19 to take the 20. But I can see everything in your in your commentary. You've been following along with this, and I know you've been as badly dragged as myself. You've been as badly dragged as anybody in this community for what the, our representatives have put us through in playing, a, it's almost like a, a collegiate tag or a, a, an animal house frat party, where it's not, we're not the concern anymore. It's, oh, I'm not gonna be beaten by him, or they're not gonna say that about, these are full-grown politicians, our representatives, with our lives in their hands. How about? Well, let me say this. There's a thing called public service. And there is a thing that occurs when a man is in a certain place at the right time or steps up to, the, to, to be the man that needs to be at that time. And personally, I believe that the governors from New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware, and New York all stepped up and I believe that the mayor here has done and continues to do better than most mayors I mean there's today there are places that are going on to total lockdown again a second time you know so I think some of our public servants are, are doing the best job they can do they are our children, these public servants. All of them are doing the best that they can do with the information they've had to work with and the teaching they've had to go on. And that's been a lack for 50 to 70 years, intentionally. But they're no different than we are. They're the same people who lost their dads as we did, went into the wars and to the separation and the scheming. They're the same latchkey kids. Our parents were both went out to go in and sit down in front of the TV set and watch TV. But they're the same people. We're all the same. We're all one body. From every aspect and every perspective and every perception, omnipotent, working together as one, based on the fact speaking easy and being able to go forward in the fact that we're a, a nation of laws and in the fact that we're under one God, under Penn's Charter of Privilege. That in itself is Confederate. That's federal above the state, above the children. When the federal is put down first to make sure by no way, means or manner were we ever going to go backwards again. Never again will someone own us for our debt. We will come alongside one another and we will help each other. There is good and bad in all people, righteous and unrighteous. But iron sharpens iron. And what God did and through Christ was enough to pay all for all. So to come to terms with that and live in it as a brotherhood, or as they say, build an altar or post so both sides of Jordan understand the same God they're worshiping as one. And we can have the Silk Road, we can have the prosperity, we can have the heaven on earth as promised. All we need to do, first and foremost, we have our perimeters of moral and, and social conscious. And we have laws to defend us against not only ourselves but each other. Under a nation of laws where there is no favorites, we have to break Harvard's pendulum. This is not good discrimination, that's not bad discrimination. If you're this color, it's good. If you're that color, it's bad. That's coming from Harvard. But we're on the right track. And yes, I do not throw any of the, not even George Bush, not even Joe Biden would I throw under the bus. Nancy Pelosi and yeah, banging the guy with this is their house. It's a teaching. They're a representative of our house. We, the people of the United States of America, and we are that beacon to go forward in holistic, this is that shockwave. This is that vibrational therapy. This is that sound and light that brings holistic to fruition and has it exalted up where it belongs to actually get the person in tune with their spirit. But every time that I meet with you, it's 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 always the same type of enlightenment. There's always that humility. There's always that that drawback. But there's still, even in that, there's a firmness of commitment. You're not let go of that strength. You're still there. You're going to make to make your decisions. But now, with authority under God, we can step away maybe 
from having to be taught to apologize all the time and taught to never question? No, we have laws for a reason, we have history for a reason, we have facts and we have evidence for a reason. Just like in science, just like in history, just like in math, just like in, uh, I guess, biology. Everything that you have comes from saying to seek in all directions. The truth, one truth, the truth. That yes, this is created, yes, this is intelligent, yes, this is how it works. And as Adam, as al Adam, all of us, we are the gardener. We are the parents. We are the ones who sow the steps for our children. We sow the seeds for our people, and that's also the globe. But America, yes, what we've done here in Philadelphia, by happy accident, by miracle, by persuasion, by never stopping. So getting through this, I myself think it's a time to forget the mask. That would be my opinion. Because it's only getting progressively worse, and if you separate in between, it's only going to be that much worse for the next influence to come down the line. Because no one's going to be ready for it, it's going to broadside. And the people doing this, they're not friend of man or beast. All they're friend with is power and money and control. And we've got to face that. It's never been any different than what it's been. It's always been there. Same thing, same master, same, same slaver, to own you. And then to use you as they please. That's the whole thing between God and Satan. He's a created image too, but no, that's ain't the way you run my house. <laughs> we are here to change that, to educate ourselves and to live in peace with each other. But no, I'm so glad. How'd you make out with your aquatic next door here? Did you ever move down from Judietta? Um, I work at both places. You're still running back and forth? Yeah, but gyms are closed right now. Yes. So they're not open yet. Now, as far as the COVID goes for you, with your operation, you must be really taking this on the chin, too. Yeah, we're following the protocols, and we're social distancing, and we have isolation stations, and we have um, cleaning stations, and we schedule so that people have specific times. So you are able to still get your clientele, you are still able to serve your clientele? On a limited basis. Is there anything you prioritize, one above the other, or it's all based on pain? Pain. Well, as I said, I, I take it as a treasure to have found you here in Kensington, and I give great thanks for Harrison Physical Therapy and what you mean to this opportunity and why you're here, which I don't think is any accident, and why you grew up here, which I also don't think was any accident. Next summer, we want to do Tai Chi for the community. Oh, that's beautiful. Hopefully COVID will be over by then. Yes. Well, let's, let's put, a, put a pin in that. COVID will be over by then. All right. There you go. COVID will be over by then. Let's, let's take authority for that. Okay. But anyhow, I shake your hand and everything, Jonathan, but we're practicing safe social distancing. Yes. And uh, thank you very much for the interview. You're welcome.